one of my very first relationships with an older dude that really made me like grow up like and like think a lot more older than I did back then you know like so yeah let's get right into it what's up y'all it's Rue Mac I'm back with a YouTube video it's been well over a year and a half I think I'm not sure but I know it's been a year and some change now um you can imagine what has happened within a whole year and a half like i'm gonna catch y'all up on all of that but today i'm here with a story time um i promised my instagram that i was gonna do story time and start using my youtube more often so i just want to get right into this you know like this is going to be one of my very first videos like a solid video because like after this i'm probably going to be posting more frequently i'm only doing this because i feel like my instagram is not a platform for me to tell stories and like i'm i have a lot of followers on instagram like not a lot but you know like i got like maybe five thousand followers and a good amount of people support me and i know that they will come on here and comment subscribe like share like i i fuck with y'all like y'all solid 100 percent. like anything i post y'all commenting on y'all always giving me advice and i'm giving y'all advice like it's i like this it's like a mutual thing now so i want to um just start posting videos on youtube like i'm gonna try to stick to youtube because i really want to do this like i really want to do this and i feel like i could do this I got to do this anyways let's get right into this story time okay because this is real juicy and this is a story about me when i was like in my teens like i'm 24 now i still be going through some crazy things don't get me wrong but like my teens was crazy like crazy 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 Anyways, let's get right into the story time. Anyways, I was 16 and I had an older boyfriend. I was an it girl. Yes, I was. I was very popular in high school and in junior high school. Um, I was one of those girls, like, always fighting. Like, I barely went to school. I cut school a lot. Like, I had, like, I had a problem. Like, I thought I was Rome. Like, I was one of those girls, the older dudes picking you up from school in a nice car. Listen, from young, okay, I really was so attracted to older men. Like, I don't know what it was, like, but this specific older dude, he was a drug dealer, and I was so obsessed with this dude. Like, this dude would, I would cut school for him, like, anything he say i'm on time i'm there like he's coming to pick me up from wherever i'm at like i just i was getting ready to just leave my whole teenage life behind and just like oh my god this relationship was so ghetto and toxic like okay um, so like right in between this part <coughs> i really wanted to i think this relationship lasted about i didn't tell nobody about this story because I was just really being about fast and grown after, and just like, like and at the time like really I had a girlfriend like y'all like I had a girlfriend I was in a relationship with the whole dyke <laughs> and like I thought okay, I don't know man. what I thought but, baby mama, listen I was just being and, like, fast okay this story kids, was like, so embarrassing oh my for God. me listen, y like I dealt with some crazy things behind this man like I was so in love with him like he would take me shopping he would give me money to do my nails get cute do my hair like I was always just grown cutting school like every time I go to school I'll probably make it to like first and second and third period and then like by fourth period he's texting me coming to pick me up so I could run the streets with him like I had some I had a bag I used to put my clothes in there and like yeah like he used to just come get me from school and i was i would leave and we would just like i don't even think i was leaving to go do anything serious like i just wanted to be with him all day and he was really wanting to be with me all day like 
this grown man all right we're gonna give grown man a name grown man's name is going to be p okay i was so in love with p like p was in love with me well i was convinced he was in love with me like i was so young i don't know how in my mind i could think that this man that is <laughs> in his late 20s this man was probably like 28 i was 16 turning 17 in a few months i still thought i was grown this man knew i was 16 okay like he did not care like i was with him every day like even though he had like all those baby mamas and those kids like it was almost like i was his only girlfriend like you know i was with him every day um in his house i would sleep over his house i would i would leave my house for days okay like my mother is looking for me like blowing up my phone i would turn my phone off and just like everything is about him everything's about him like i was just so in love with him like i would not leave this man alone so um one day this is only one of the toxic stories that happened like this i think this is like the first first time like drama ever escalated like in our situationship so one day i'm sleeping i'm at his house and um somebody knocks on the window like the way his room is set up his room is all the way in the back so like the front door if somebody was knocking or ringing the doorbell you would not be able to hear it so i guess the person whoever was knocking came around to the back and was knocking on the window so this i jump out my sleep and i'm just like <laughs> this person is knocking on this window like they, it's urgent okay like the person wants to come inside <laughs> So, me being scary, knowing I'm not supposed to be with this man, like, I'm not supposed to be in his house because he got baby mamas, he got, keep in mind, okay, like, this is not my man. We was just like, I don't know what the hell was going on with us. We was just so, like, I loved him so bad, like, but anyways, so this person is, like, knocking 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 they knocking like the knocking is like the the urgent knocking you know so um i get up and i go to the front in the living room and p is sitting on the couch like i know you hear this person knocking like i know this person knocked on the front door before they came to the back so he pulls me and he's like Shh, sit down don't say nothing like I'm not gonna open the door like he don't want to open the door like he don't want to open the door so i'm just sitting down quiet at this point like i'm scared my heart is racing y'all like <laughs> my heart is racing like oh my god so his phone starts ringing and he answers it's his baby mother like she's like I'm outside, like, open the door, like, she is just trying to get in the house right now, and, like, he's just like, what you want, I'm not home, I'm not home, and mind you, this man got, like, three cars, okay, like, all the cars is parked outside, two of them is in the driveway, like, she knows you're home, she's not stupid. <laughs> so he like I'm not home like stop calling stop you know like I'm gonna link I'm gonna call you back I'm gonna call you when I get to the house like she is just not having it like she knows he's inside she knows something is up she knows so remember I told you I got up and I was in the living room I hear something in the back like like the window like the window just broke Lo and behold, y'all, this girl broke the window, the room window, climbed through the window, and she's in the house now. So now, 
he get up like after he hit a glass break and stuff he jump up before me i'm not gonna jump up i already know it's this crazy chick outside she's trying to find out what's going on oh my god y'all this girl is in the house now like she's in the house but she's in the room like the same room my stuff is in there my bag my shoes my coat all my stuff is in this room like and i'm just like so scared like so she's in the room he he walks to the back and i guess he's back there all i hear is her screaming and yelling at him cursing at him like who's out there who's out there like I know you're doing something and blah 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 you know like he's back there trying to hold her and i am in the front scared listen i would have left i would have left but she's in the room where my stuff is like my shoes my bag my coat like my clothes because i wasn't even fully dressed like i think i had on some shorts and like one of his t-shirts i have no socks on no drawers like no bra like i was just i was in my man bed like <laughs> and you just came out of nowhere with your crazy ass listen so he's back there now i guess trying to calm her down he locks her and him in the room in the back y'all oh my god all i hear is boom 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 just a whole bunch of like it sound like they fighting like i don't know what was going on back there but listen i call my best friend okay my best friend at the time was a dude like i didn't have no female friends i didn't really want like girls in my business because i was being a little grown and like some of the things that i was doing i knew i know a lot of girls like my age couldn't relate to so i wasn't gonna call like one of my friends from you know like school or my neighborhood or anything like that i called um my best friend and he's a dude he's a male so he's like what you gonna do like <laughs> what are you gonna do you gonna you have to stay in the house and wait till you get your clothes <sighs> listen y'all i had to leave with nothing i had to leave with no shoes on no bra no panties no coat like my hair was probably looking crazy like i can't really remember if i got i had my hair done around that time but Nine times out of ten, if I was in his bed, my hair wasn't done. I probably was just laying in there, kicking it. But I had to leave. Like, my best friend called me a cab. Like, I got in a cab. I went to his house. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Like, yeah. My best friend was gay at the time. He's still gay. I don't know why the fuck I'm saying at the time. Um... Unfortunately, he moved out of town. He doesn't live out here anymore. So, yeah, but I got in a cab, no shoes on, no nothing, just my phone. And that's it. Like, I left, I got up out of there. So, I think, like, I get to my best friend's house and maybe an hour maybe an hour or two um maybe an hour or two later p calls me <laughs> and he's like thank you so much thank you so much for just leaving like you don't know how much that means to me and like like you really held it down like you a real one like time i'm young so i don't like in my mind i'm thinking like i really just won this man over like but i just held it down like <laughs> that's how you feel yo guys i was so dumb like i was so dumb like i really thought i was holding it down and i thought that it was cute 
I thought that he was my man. Like, I didn't realize after a few years how long he was manipulating me and our situation. So, like, I was just really stuck on him. And, like, he would do things for me to keep me there. Like, you know, just take me shopping. Just always giving me money. Just being real. Like, and I'm the type of person, I love stuff like that. Like. I'm weak for men that spoil me. Like, my love language is gifts and money. Like, I'm still that kind of person, but I'm not naive, you know, like I used to be. Like, I know when you're just trying to buy me over. So, anyways, he like, you held it down. Like, you, you, you know, like, you did your thing. And I'm just like, bro, like, you're not even going to. You're not gonna say sorry, like I'm sad and shit. Like you're not gonna say sorry, like you know I left my shoes and all my stuff. Y'all, I kid you not, son. After I get off the phone with him, he was like, no. First of all, on the phone he's like, yo, no funny shit about that. I gotta tell you something. I'm gonna send you something, but don't be upset. Don't be upset. Like I'm gonna give you some money. We're gonna go shopping. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that, bro. I get off the phone. And this man sent me a picture of all my stuff. Like, this bitch cut all my shit up. Like, she, like, I don't know what was going on in that room for, the, for them two hours that I ran out of there. Like, she was just, all my stuff, guys. Like, my bag, my coat, like, everything was just, like, all over the floor. Like, my makeup, my feminine products, like... I didn't wear makeup at the time. So it was probably like my lip gloss and like mascara and like, you know, like little things to touch up your face. Like, I'm still not big on makeup to this day. Like, I really only know how to draw my eyebrows on. I do not know how to do makeup at all. But anyways, so this girl done ruined all my stuff. Like my, at the time, I think, rugby's was lit like i don't know i had like one of them nice designer shirts like he used he used to take me shopping and like i'm talking about good shopping like designer clothes shopping like bruh this girl ruined all my stuff like he had a jar of paint in his room and she like she poured all the paint all over the place like the walls the bed his TV, his closet, like, all his clothes was messed up. Like, she just, listen, it was crazy, okay? It was real crazy, but after that situation, I felt, I felt some type of way. I felt dumb, but, like, I was so in love with him. I didn't care, and he, would, he replaced my clothes, like, that same day, like, <laughs> within minutes, okay? Right after he sent me them pictures and stuff, like I said, Wusa, no, I don't even care. I'm not gonna trip because he's mine now. <laughs> he just said I held it down. Like <laughs> I was so dumb, like, oh but I was just hyped because he was coming to pick me up and we was going shopping. Like of course I had to go home and like put on some other clothes and shoes because this bitch done ruined all my shit and not too long after that the same chick I didn't get to see her face at all like my first time ever seeing her she found me on Facebook and how she found me I know y'all probably thinking like how does she even know you how she found me my bag was in the room. My ID, my school ID was in there. And she she typed my name up on Facebook and she found me. And she, de she messaged me and was just basically like, you little bitch, you're fucking my man and yada, yada, yada. Like, just, it was so horrible. But even then, I didn't respond to her. I just blocked her, like, really fast because... To me, in my mind, it seemed like the more I ignored her and I tried to avoid the situation, he was falling more and more for me because I was holding it down. But I'm going to have another story time. That's 
the first story about how toxic it was being with him okay and I was traumatized because I was really young and this man is older than me like I wasn't even supposed to be messing with him like and I knew better but I was just so thirsty like I was thirsty and I was obsessed and I just thought I was the hottest chick in high school too because I always had money I always looked grown I always was with a fine ass nigga like nigga used to pull up in his nice car come pick me up from school I used to think like I was the girl like I was the girl <laughs> but anyways if you like this story time like comment share subscribe if you ever dealt with an older dude and you know you wasn't supposed to be messing with him he don't even gotta be an older dude like if you know you just ain't supposed to be messing with somebody comment tell me your stories like I really want to know because Listen, I was a bad gal, okay? Bad gal. Like, I was terrible. Like, anyways, thank you for watching this video. Like I said before, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Later. Thank you guys for watching. Guys, please do keep in mind that I just started YouTube again, and my editing skills are not up to par yet. Be very patient with me. Bear with me, you feel me? I know I'm, I got some juicy stories. Just bear with me, okay? Let's ride this one out. I, won't not, I will not disappoint y'all, I promise. Okay?